Hello and welcome, my name is Ahiro and this is my let's play series of Distant Worlds Universe where we are playing as the Combined Cadian Nation. I just brought this Emperor summary screen up because I wanted to say the nation name one uh, right for once. But anyway, during the last couple of episodes uh, we have kind of been talking, uh, I have been talking about the problem we have right now. We are kind of boxed in in this little bit, a little area, uh, and I don't really see any way to expand. Uh, I think these guys are too powerful right now, so the only option right now I think is to either expand over here or down here to the Atux. But both the Atux and the Akaris are way superior to us. So unless we can use this cash flow to build up some military, I don't really see uh, see how that can happen. So uh, I've been thinking a lot, and uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to build up. And if we can kind of get something going with one of these attacks, um, of course that will be good. But if not, then uh, I'm not gonna stay with this series. Um, I, I may be able to kind of hang in there and try make some alliances and waiting for, for like the opportune moment to kind of expand but in the meantime you guys will probably get pretty bored so anyways let's start up the game and uh, get some money ticking in so we can uh, hopefully build some military so right now we have the law blinger fleet here uh, and it's at doesn't it say how much is it in combined? Maybe if we... No, it combines uh, power of 1626, so that's okay. We also have the defense fleet, which aren't that big, but we haven't had any pirate trouble. We have a transport fleet ready to transport about 2,000 units. Um, so, I don't know if that will be enough for an invasion of a homeworld, but uh, we'll see. And I think we are also building up some troops that are... We have actually already built up all the troops. Wonder if we have enough. Uh, where are our attack fleet? They're probably down here, protecting the new colony. Let's refuel that. Let's hope we, uh, we don't get, get attacked in the meantime, but they are pretty low on fuel. And let's get the transport fleet to pick up the units we have built and see if we have enough or we need to build more. Also, I just want to mention uh, that in the previous uh, recordings, I've had some problems with capturing things like these drop-down menus, uh, but I finally found out a way to uh, get around it. Um, so hopefully now everything should work, but if something is still looking kind of weird, then please uh, post a message so I'm aware of it. I, I don't really watch all my videos all the way through, so it was kind of... Uh, by happenstance that I realized that uh, I had the problem. Oh, and my castle just went down again. So uh, it was temporarily boosted because we intercepted with some lower fruit, but now it's down again. So that's really a problem. Yeah, so... Uh, okay, our colony governor gained a new trade, the dislike trade, it means he hurts our colony happiness and our tourist income. But all in all, he's still a pretty good, pretty good uh, governor. But anyway, oh, we discovered Eras Marble, one of the luxury resources, so this would definitely benefit our empire. Hopefully we can get some money out of that, so that we can invest in some military maybe. So we picked up 1800 troops, and that's because, uh, I think it's because we we don't, the armor filled, filled up more, but 
Let me just check for the transport fleet. I'll just see if what happens if we just change the loadout to 50-50 because we don't have any um, don't have any uh, special force units right now. So let's actually try that. I'll just put all the troops back and try to load again and see what will happen. Maybe it's just because armored troop troops just fill up more space than infantry. Oh, they want to spread territory maps. Let's just do that. Lead, there are these guys up here. They have a lot of colonies. Kind of, kind of envy them. Like us, they started in a kind of a, a small system, but uh, they were up there alone. So uh, they, were, they were able to expand much better than us. So now we have dropped all those troops and uh, we're kind of picked up again. And we're getting a lot of measures here. I'm actually gonna go change that. I don't wanna get pop-ups for uh, civilian ships uh, and for exploration ships because I'm not gonna do anything about that. In this way, uh, all the pop-ups that come up, come up here because of pirate attacks uh, will be things that are actually important that I need to take care of. And I'm just gonna pop the speed down a bit. So I can actually follow along with some of those. I think all of these are those annoying pirates. So they actually got out with fewer troops this time. This is really weird. So I had the... Now the loadout is 50-50, so they should get out with half and half. So I don't really know what this happened. It's kind of weird. Okay. I don't really understand that. Okay, I'm gonna try one more. Maybe it's one of them got confused or something like that. I don't know. So we'll just wait till they're empty. Was the attack fleet coming back for refueling? Oh, they are refueled, so let's set them back to take care of this planet. Then maybe we can build a, a station there for a bit of protection. Okay, so now they are empty, so now let's load troops at Kadia. And the Katarov want to swap maps, just let's accept that also. They are these guys. I believe they are, this is the Katarov, yeah, they are also pretty big. We might be able to take over the, these guys if they if they don't keep expanding their military like that. Oh, I'm just clicking all the wrong things right now. Yeah, uh, six, they haven't grown their military since I looked last time, of course, it haven't been that long. And actually, if you go into uh, the victory condition here, we can kind of look at uh, the military strength. So we are almost dead last in military strength, just above the Kulmino technocracy. Uh, so we definitely need to do something about that, but it's it's hard with a negative cash flow. Okay, so they're going in to try to pick up troops. That's really weird. Maybe I somehow... Okay. 50. 50. Zero, zero. I don't understand this. They should pick up half infantry and half armored troops. I would believe. So we improved our fission reactors. Okay, let's try once more. 
I would really like to have some kind of manual way to pick up troops so I could uh, decide precisely which type of troops I picked up. I don't know if there is that. So we've done our energy const and construction research project. So what do we want to pick up next? Hmm. We could improve our hyperdrives. Let's in fact let's improve our shields. If we are going to war, we're gonna need shields. What are we doing in weapons? Torpedoes. Long-range projectiles. And we should also look at maybe getting some better armor. Uh, yes, let's queue that up. It actually had better distribution with the normal settings, so... Um, oh! Let's just try that. Set it back to this. Maybe it's... I don't know. Oh, you can see it up here, apparently. No, on garrison troops, okay. So you can see it here. So maybe it's the percentage of the overall troops instead. Okay. Maybe I get it now, but I'll, I'll definitely try to look that up for the next couple of videos. Anyway, we have enough uh, troops to fill out the train spot, but we do need some more transport, probably. If we want to take a home world, anyway. So our capital ship is under attack. He'll just get his ass kicked. Let's try to see if we can build a small, small spaceport here. Now we have our, have our tech fleet uh, watching out for it. That will also help out with uh, being able to get some more trade in here and uh, and being able to refuel. We really have problems with money right now. I don't. I don't know what to do about that. Uh, was the Empire screen I was looking for? No, the colony screen, of course. Right now we are at 40% tax, so we can't really tax these guys anymore. We could start to tax these guys a bit. They are pretty happy, so let's try to pump that up to, let's say, 10% and see what happens. Still at 35. We do like this high growth, though. Let's see what happens to this growth if, if um, with this new tax. Doesn't seem to be affected, though. Oh yeah, a lot actually. And we don't get that much tax anyway, so. Uh, I'd rather build up this population so that we can get more attacks in the future. But of course, it doesn't really help if we don't have any money now. But Let's see what we can... what will happen. So we have 14%. I don't know why we were 25% before and 14 now. Maybe I just... Maybe it's just some temporary boost from something. So anyway, I don't know, I, don't, I actually am pretty stumped, I, I don't know what to do, I don't know, maybe we should just try to kind of attack someone and see if it will, if it will work, and if it doesn't work then maybe I should just look at, uh, at maybe starting, an, starting the let's play over, let's send an exploration ship to that system. I already have an explanation ship here. We'll see.
Select you. Yeah, it's here. But for some reason we can't really see what's going on on this planet. Maybe they don't have any troops at all. Okay. They do have some nice resources here. Maybe we should just try to attack them. Might as well try. So... Let's declare war! And we'll sell the attack fleet over here first. To blockade the planet. He will probably have to... Escape. And I'll go down to speed 1, so we don't miss anything. Actually, kind of actually ca need to refuel first. It's a, quite a far way away. Okay, so let's bomb up the speed while he refuels. Let's select the fleet so we have a quick overview. We are getting a bit money. I, I'm, I haven't fully understood this uh, incomes yet. Uh, I've often tried having a, a negative cash flow and not really seeing any bonus income, but still being in the positive with money. I'm not sure if uh, if this is all on a yearly basis or what, uh, and maybe I just uh, just don't see the 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 bonus income before it resets or what it is, but. Um, I've, I've tried this multiple times, having a, a negative cash flow and a small bonus income and still having money. Although now i am lost a lot of money. So one of our mining... F oh my god, they have a big fleet here. They don't have much power. power. We're gonna lose that station over here. I don't know what it is. Oh, so that's what well, that was actually a right, pretty nice uh, luxury station. But that what happens when you get to war, I guess. But it looked like they actually had a pretty, pretty big fleet there, so... Um, unless we can beat that fleet, it might be all quickly. And we are getting the ships refueled, almost. Let's just check that we have filled our ships here. And they let's just top them off on fuel, just to be safe. Let's go to Xenox, and it is, it is beyond the uh, point of no return, so if we get there, um, it will be a long way home. We, do we have supply ships yet? Resupply ships? No, we don't have resupply ships yet. That would have been really nice, though. Well, let's just try. I guess we'll send the transport fleet in right after. We can always word it that if the attack fleet runs into anything ugly. But anyway, we are coming up on that 20 minute mark, which means uh, I'll have to say goodbye for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, despite of. Uh, 
our problems and uh, hope to see you again.